So the Hadoubi Esport Dam is full to overflowing after weeks of heavy rain, but residents say the area is really suffering due to poor service delivery. They say sewage is flowing through the streets and it's posing severe health risks to residents in the resort town. They also say their pleas for help have fallen on deaf ears. The municipality, of course, is blaming the mess on ageing infrastructure and a lack of funds. Kailish Kamalu visited the area. He joins me now. How's it, Kaya? So, Haribe Sport is, as you say, it's a prime tourism area, uh, but the municipality run by the ANC has been under administration for some time now, um, and things are really not looking great still. Well, precisely, Sally, and of course, uh, this has been going on for some time, uh, so the, they've had now a second administrator trying to revive service delivery, trying to make sure that they restore financial controls, but also, most importantly, the issue of service delivery. So one of the challenges facing the municipality of Madibang is the revenue collection. Some residents are not able to pay, but others, like in this particular neighborhood where we went into, where the state of uh, service delivery really is in shambles, really you know, with the sewer pipes broken, the portals and stuff. And we spoke to one particular gentleman who was really telling us about his fear right into his yard where the pipes really are broken. And he was saying that he's staying with uh, a man who's 80 year old, really susceptible to a lot of diseases, really posing a number of threats. So that's a, it's a very worrisome situation on the ground. Uh, so said we spoke to one of the residents and this is what he had to say. Arabia has got several challenges, sewage being one, the roadworks, the water infrastructure, basically the whole infrastructure. I mean, here where we are currently at Miroff School, I mean, it's a school with kids with health issues, etc. And you have sewage like this, which, in my opinion, is Muddy Bank's fault. We pay enough as ratepayers to have our basic services provided to us. I want to know really what is Muddy Bank's excuse for not doing what we are paying them to do. The, Where's our money going? And what is the municipality saying, Kaya? So, Sally, the municipality is fully aware of the challenges, but they do speak about a myriad of challenges that they face from their side in terms of the capacity, but also, most importantly, they do talk about the plan of making sure that they you know, try to resuscitate the systems that are just in a very poor and appalling state. So uh, the municipality says they do have a plan of action to address the concerns, but also most importantly, they, now they've uh, advertised a number of key positions. So in fact, today they had interviews of very key members of the municipality to try and really just to make sure that they do administer services to the residents who are so enraged, especially because the area used to be a prime tourism destination, but uh, currently the situation is not looking rosy. But also we do know that the whole issue of the municipality being placed under administration because of corruption and maladministration, some of the very chronic challenges that are facing the municipality. So there was a clear undertaking to make sure that they do tackle these issues. But the issue at hand is these are chronic problems. You know, these are persistent issues that have been going on for some time. We were in the area yesterday with the Deputy Minister of Tourism. And uh, you could see that uh, Madibeng, arguably, uh, the Harbia Sport area, it's the, the biggest tourism hub in the province. And we would be doing injustice to the area if we do not provide proper infrastructure. Back to your question. Yes, we are, the recruitment uh, is still on. We are yet to make the appointments, but we have interviewed everyone. So we are recruiting very skilled uh, individuals who will take this municipality forward. All right, so that is the news from Maribeng Municipality. Thank you very much for your reporting, Kaili Le Let's move now to...